Did you know that windows are about the third largest purchase that most people will ever make for their home? And so before you spend your hard earned money for windows, you should know that key to the window's life and its energy efficiency is the insulating glass unit. Well today we're in Spring Green, Wisconsin and we're going to show you how to make windows that last. At the Cardinal Insulated Glass Plant they make double pane, double sealed glass units for windows. This is one of the most energy efficient units made today. The foundation for a good insulated glass window starts with a piece of stainless steel. It's called a spacer. Plant manager Eric Rapp says this facility makes 18,000 insulated windows every day. What we have here, Steve, is an example of our stainless steel spacer. This is a low conductivity spacer that reduces heat transfer at the edge of a unit. Now this, this spacer is uh, the, the real heart of the unit and it's what separates the two pieces of glass to allow an insulating space between the two pieces of glass. So you have a dead air space. It's a dead, dead space in there, yes. And what the spacer to start with is filled with a desiccating material and I have a sample of that here. This is a molecular sieve desiccating material and it is used to dry any moisture in terms of ambient moisture from the space between the two pieces of glass. Moisture's our enemy. We, we get moisture in between the two panes that cause it to fog. It causes it to fog and that's what causes you to lose the ability to see through the window clearly. So Eric, how does this desiccant work? I mean, where do we put it? We, we put this desiccant inside the cavity of the spacer, just as you can see there. The desiccant would flow into that, into that cavity. The, the spacer breathes to the inside of the unit through very small holes in this welded seam right here and that will then absorb any of the moisture that's captured in the unit onto the surface of the desiccating material. So the idea, basically the concept is, is any moisture that's in there during manufacture or maybe some residual moisture that gets into the window can be absorbed by these beads. That's correct. So, Eric, this is the uh, machine that actually bends these spacers to the right size. You make so many different insulated glass units. How does this know exactly what size it, it needs to make? All the units uh, sizes are pre-programmed into our uh, bender here. The bender is uh, is used to size size the, the pieces so they will fit precisely around the perimeter of the glass so that we can affect a good seal between the, the, the sealant, the spacer, and the glass. Now stainless steel is a lot more expensive than uh, say aluminum, which I know is used for a lot of spacers. Uh, why do you prefer stainless steel? Well stainless steel is an application in, in those climates that, that a, a cold edge on the, on the sill of a window creates condensation. Well, the stainless steel reduces the heat transfer from, from inside, outside the it's window. It's less conductive than so aluminum. It's much less, it's about one eleventh as conductive as aluminum. It, it increases the temperature at the sill, so it reduces the ability for water to condense at this right at the sill. In cold climates, for example, you'll get ice forming around uh, the edge space where I've seen of some yes. windows. So right. stainless steel is a little less conductive. You never have to worry about it corroding. Uh, it's a, it, it seems like it would last for a long time. What you have to do is make sure that spacer is sealed entirely around its perimeter. Now one of the benefits of bending the spacer, it enables us to have a complete inorganic seal around the entire perimeter, including the corners, against any type of gas transfer or moisture trans vapor transfer through the spacer. But we do end up with one joint, and you can see this is a joint right here. Now this joint is held together with a connector structurally, and then we seal it with a piece of butyl tape that is backed by an aluminum foil. Now the concept behind the foil is, is that of course moisture can't get through the foil. Moisture or moisture vapor or gas transfer is, is, can't get through the foil, yes. The spacer now gets its first coat of sealant. A second silicone sealant will be applied after the unit is completed. This dual seal process makes insulated glass both durable and energy efficient. So the, basically the primary seal, which is this sealant here, actually yes. prevents gas from moving in and out of the window like some of your insulating gases like argon. That's correct. And yes. also prevents moisture from moving in and out, right? That's right. The primary seal here, is its purpose is to reduce the transfer of gas from inside of a unit to outside of the unit or to reduce the possibility of moisture vapor transferring from outside the unit inside the unit. Which might fog the window. Which might fog the window. Now the spacer is ready for window glass. Two panes of glass are put in each spacer to get the double paned insulating effect. The units are then put inside a vacuum chamber. Insulating argon gas is backfilled into the space between the two panes of glass. Then the vacuum creates a seal. 
join the spacer, glass, and sealant into one unit. A few minutes later, the units are ready for the final step in the dual seal process. Robots apply a final seal of silicone to the insulated glass. Silicone protects the unit during expansion and contraction in different weather conditions and it's resistant to damage caused by ultraviolet rays. Silicone is more expensive than other sealants, but it lasts three to ten times longer. It also makes the entire unit stronger. Americans will install more than one billion square feet of insulated glass in homes and offices this year. One third of this booming market is custom windows. Advances in computer technology let companies load your design into their system. The computer can cut glass so precisely that there's almost no waste, and that helps manufacture lower costs and make custom units more affordable. So with homes today having higher ceilings, you know, bigger houses, I guess people want a lot more custom work. That's, Is that a lot more expensive? That, well, that's, that's, a, that's a really uh, nice thing about the changes in computer technology from the last uh, 15 years or so. We've been able ourselves to produce these windows at a cost that, although it's higher than a standard product cost, is at a cost that is in, in the same ballpark that enables people to, to choose to make custom-sized windows as opposed to standard-sized windows. For not much more cost. For not a lot more cost, that's right. So whether you want to put in custom windows or simply update your standard size windows, remember, laminated glass gives you better safety, security, energy efficiency, and durability. And while they do cost a little more than conventional windows, laminated glass gives you a good return on your investment.